Hey guys, um, sorry I haven't vlogged this morning. I've been editing and now I'm just waiting for it to upload. Um, it's been pretty rough today. Huh. So, I don't even care if my ex-husband watches this. John, if you're watching this, I really don't care, but I'm going to say how I feel because I'm tired of feeling like crap. And so, I'm going to vlog about this today. And I'm not going to edit it out this time. My ex-husband is filing for um, taxes on my oldest son. And secondly, I am not your information post. I, it is not my responsibility for me to keep track of all this information for you. If you want to know something, go ask your tax lady from last year. It is not my responsibility to be your information book. You have a new future wife you're about to marry. Ask her to write the shit down because I'm done. Um, it causes problems between me and my husband because he feels that I am going out of my way to do stuff for my ex-husband. And that is not fair on my part, what I have to deal with. And it is not him being childish because he has every right to be angry that my ex-husband is still asking me for stuff and asking me to do stuff when you make me pay half the plane tickets and you make over $100,000 a year. I make a third of what you make. Maybe half to a third. And you know what? I pay all my bills on time, and I still pay for half those plane tickets, and it's frustrating because I am broke as shit. And yes, I might not have nice stuff, but I pay payments on them every damn month. I'm struggling like the rest of the world. So I don't want to get mad about this, and I'm sorry for getting frustrated, but this is just on my mind, and I need to get it out. And my husband literally just walked and took the dogs for a walk when we're not even supposed to walk our dog because she's in heat. And he took them for a walk because he doesn't even want to be around me right now because of this stress. It puts him in a bunch of stress. He came from a polygamist family. His parents are from Utah. They have multiple wives and multiple crap, and I don't care if they hear this online either. It's shit that he had to go with growing up and being in the divorced, being with a woman who has kids that from a previous marriage, it feels like the same shit he grew up in. A polygamous dad, basically, still going to his, not ex-wife, but other wife, to ask for help when he needs something for his new wife. Like, honestly, it's getting old, and I'm done with it. The point is, I'm tired of feeling like shit, but every time he needs something, he calls me when I have been divorced for almost seven years. Or seven years. I'm tired. I'm stressed out. And I can't deal with this. It is really... I love my husband so much. And if I lose him over this shit, it's not because he's being childish. It's because he's tired of putting up with my shit from my previous marriage. I know that I have a lot of baggage. And I know that it is hard to deal with. And don't get me wrong. I don't blame him for any of it. It's just really hard when I have the weight of the world on my shoulders. I have tried to go get a job. And I can't find a normal freaking job for the life of me. Even though I have tons of experience. I don't know why. And I just... <laughs> I'm tired. It's really frustrating and overwhelming. I'm just tired. I'm tired of feeling like I have to cater to my ex-husband just so I don't have to fight with him to make my kids happy. Like, I only do it. I pretty much bow down and do everything he can once just that I have to, uh, pretty much, like, I pay for half the plane tickets, which, because I get $1,300 a month in child support, when he brings home probably close to ten grand a month, and I don't want to hear what he says about how he doesn't bring that home, his income is online, in writing, for anybody to see if you know his name. It's not hard to tell. But honestly, it's just frustrating. I'm sorry. I just... I'm not happy all the time. Um, my life is not perfect. 
And a lot of people tell me just because I seem positive that, oh, you have a lot of stuff and you have a perfect life and your husband has a good job. Yeah, my husband might have a good job and we might make good money, but we also pay $4,300 a month in bills every month. And no, it's not something I could cut out. It's not like cable and, and any extras. It is rent, utilities, car payments, insurance. I'm still paying for the old car that my husband wrecked last year because the gap insurance didn't cover it because we just refinanced when it got wrecked. I am paying credit cards because I've had to run up credit cards to pay bills and I make sure everything is paid on time every month early, two weeks early, every time at least. But I don't have extra spending money. I don't have money to go out. When I spent $16 at the bar last week, that was money I probably shouldn't have spent. But you know what? I'm tired of being broke all the time. I'm tired of not having help and I'm tired of I'm tired of all the weight of the world being on my husband's shoulders dealing with the crap from my ex-husband. It is frustrating. It sucks seeing all this shit. And, you know, I don't care what anybody says. Oh, Roller's being a jerk because he's not understanding that you're, you have an ex-husband to deal with. But guess what? He shouldn't have to understand the crap my ex-husband gives me. And I'm not saying it's bad every day because me and him have come a long way to where we do not fight anymore. And it was a very polite conversation when he was asking me for my son's social so he could file taxes. It is the fact that he's still calling me, asking me. I am not your wife anymore. I am not his wife. I am not any connection to you besides our children. And if you need a social security number, Go get it. You're, a you're supposed to be a responsible parent as well. I am not the only responsible one. It is not my job to just have a copy of the birth certificates, just to have a copy of their socials. If you need a copy of those, go get them from the state and order them like I did and pay the money. I am not sending it to you anymore. I am tired. I know that it is frustrating. Maybe I am being an ungrateful person. I don't know. Maybe I am just being a bitch. But you know what? It's the point that it is not my responsibility to take care of him. I take care of his two children. 100% I take care of my children. I bust my ass every day. My house might not be spotless every day, but it's not dirty. It's just so much stress. <laughs> I don't know. I'm... I don't think I'm going to vlog today, guys, because I just can't deal with this today. It's one of those days where everything is just too overwhelming for me, and I just don't want to do it. I'm sorry for this. I just... Yeah, I, I just can't. So, I literally, like, there's going to be few edits in this video because I really... Don't care if the world knows how I feel today. Um, I just don't care anymore. It's not my responsibility to carry the weight of the world anymore. I have to worry about myself and my kids and my husband, my recent husband, not my ex anymore. It's not my job. And if you need somebody's help, John, call your mother or call your future wife or call your sister or somebody else because your ex-wife is done. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe because I promise they're not all sad and pathetic. And if uh, if you can, share it because the world needs to know how much I have to deal with 24-7. So, yeah. Anyways, come back and see us. Bye, guys. It is a beautiful sunrise this morning. Can't really tell because my window. Alright, so Roller's being crazy. <laughs> I mean, sorry I haven't recorded at all today since this morning. <laughs> I've been editing all day long. I don't know. I always want to do something to make people smile. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, come back and see us again tomorrow, okay? Bye.